Hey traders, welcome to WeTrade Waves weekly forex forecast. In this video, we will cover the below points. 1. Transparency. We know that thousands of traders are benefiting from our videos, and for the sake of transparency and respect, we have decided to explain this in details. Some of our viewers were criticizing us for having bad analysis on few pairs last week. Noting that no one can be right 100% in this business and analysis are only one part. So we thought to actually show you what we have said on TradingView and YouTube and what market actually did pair by pair. If you are really serious about forex trading, this video will help you. But make sure to watch it till the end. 2. We have reached 22k subscribers on our YouTube channel in a short time. And this is all because of your support, comments and likes. So for the first time, we decided to give away a live webinar to first 100 people who would comment on this video. And the session will be held on Friday, the 31st of July. We will be posting the names on the community tab here on our YouTube channel. So keep an eye on the community tab. In that live session, we will give you a bit of an insight about wave analysis and show you why we were not keen to take gold buys despite seeing the setups. All the details will be covered in that live session. 3. Due to lots of people asking us about our next course, we have updated our website for course dates. And also, we have added new things in our courses going forward. Check our website for all the details or you can find the link in the first comment of this video. Are you ready for the Forex forecast? Let's get started. DXY, before we go into details what will be the next wave, let's go to trading view and see what we have said last week. We said we are expecting DXY to spend more time in this sideways next week further down as possible. We said next week further down. And then after that, we will be starting to look for buy setups. So this is what we said for DXY and market went down. Remember, those arrows are not targets and they are not entries. And even week before, we said the same thing. July 10, we said we are expecting DXY to spend more time in this sideways. Next week, further down is possible for short term. So we were expecting DXY to move down and it went down. Now market is here. What will be expecting next and what will be the next wave? Coming back to our charts, market is here right now. So last week, even on YouTube, we said we are expecting more downside. And once this low will be taken, we will start to look for our buy setups. Buy setups guys doesn't mean you should jump in. So what is the structure here and what we are expecting next? For this one, market went down, give us this corrective structure. And then after that, it went more down. Another corrective structure, then corrective structure, and down again. This is a known structure to us. After this wave, we will be expecting next market to go up. And this upside, it will be a corrective structure also. What I mean by corrective structure? I mean this wave guys, it will be going similar to this one and similar to this one. It will not be going sharp like that. So why we are expecting this corrective structure? Because in the long term, we are expecting the XY to move down again. I believe most of you trade for short term. And this why what you should focus on here next is upside. We can see that the XY will start to move to the upside soon. This means any buy setup we get, we will go for it. And buy setup guys means if our strategy allows us to go for this buy, we will go for it. Otherwise, we will ignore it. Wave analysis give you an edge in the market and our followers, they know what I'm talking about. At these levels guys, we have higher probability chance that market will move to the up. Higher probability chance. Remember, in forex trading, you are working with probabilities. And now here for this next wave, we are expecting it to be corrective similar to this one and then one more push down. Before you go for any buy setup and before you risk your money, you should have a plan and you should have a strict set of rules before you jump in the trade. And what we share here, we share our point of view on what could be the next move based on wave analysis and market structure. Now, those who were in the sale, great job. You should take profits here or if you are still in the trade, you must take profits. If you are new to WeTradeWave's channel, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time we publish a video. Euro dollar for this one, let's see what we have said on TradingView. On the 17th of July, this is last week, we said we are expecting Euro dollar to start giving us sell setups. But first, next week, looks like it's going to push one more up and then big down wave. 
So we said next week, one more push up. Market went up and now we are here at these levels. Market went up. So what we will do next? We will look for our sell setups. We will not jump in. We will look for our sell setups. So this is Euro dollar and what we'll be expecting next. For this one, we are expecting a bigger corrective structure. And this corrective structure, it will be similar to this one. We are expecting then correction and then. So all of you who are going to trade Euro dollar, despite they are injecting money in Europe and they are supporting the economy or despite they are printing money in US or they will print money, market structure shows us a down wave. So based on wave analysis and market structure, we can see Euro dollar will start to move to the downside soon. Remember this, news events will affect the market and they will push the market in a way for you to think that this will never go down. They do this always over and over again. For you to be a profitable trader, you have to master the charts and you have to know how to read the charts correctly. And for us, after eight years of experience, we have discovered that only wave analysis can give you an edge in the market. Wave analysis and market structure. And if you combine this with a system and plan and set of rules, money management, risk management, entries, exits, with a strong psychology, you will definitely be a successful trader. So coming back to analysis, market went up and now we are at these levels. Any sell setup we see, we will go for it. We are expecting next Euro dollar to start giving us a bigger corrective structure similar to this one. Now you call it a fourth wave or you call it a pullback, we are expecting a down wave. What if this one will make a corrective structure here? If this will be going slowly to the downside, one more push up before the big sell. Any small corrective structure here guys leads to one more push up. If this will be going correctively, we will read into this corrective structure and we see if we get a buy setup and this align with our risk to reward rules, we might go for the buy. Only if it aligns with our risk to reward rules. Otherwise, only sell setups. We are expecting this to start a bigger corrective structure. And this bigger corrective structure needs a down wave similar to this one, at least. Pound dollar for this one, let's see what we have said on TradingView. So all of you guys, follow us on TradingView and read the description. The description guys is for you, not for us. Read it and take advantage of it. So for pound dollar, what we have said last week. We were looking for pound dollar sales last week. The way it went down, it's not really convincing. So expect another move up next week before any more sales. So we said, expect another move up next week. And market went up, right? Coming back to the charts, last week here, we said you can go for this buy and you can go for this sell. So market went up, give us a corrective structure and it went more up. The question here, how many of you guys took this buy? And what will happen next for pound dollar? Here in this one, we are going higher. This will not change the structure even if we break the top. We have high probability chance here that we will break the top. And breaking the top, it will be much better for us. Why? Because at these levels, a bigger structure will be completed. I cannot explain you guys more than that because this won't be fair for our members. So in this one, we can get one more push up. Any sell setup we get, we will go for it. Pound dollar, next, we can see a down wave. This down wave here in all the cases, it will go to these levels at least and then we will decide. Why to these levels? Because from here, we can get one more push up and then downside again. In all the cases, we will be looking for our sell setups only. Any buy setup we get here, we will ignore. Why? Because we can see that the bigger wave is towards the downside. We will be more than happy to miss the up wave instead of get in and stuck in the trade in a loss for a long time. Here on YouTube, we are posting 15 to 20 charts. The rest of the pairs are covered on our website every single week. www.wetradewaves.com Go to the homepage and scroll down to check or else you can find the link in the first comment of this video. Aussie dollar. Let's go for this one and see what we have said last week. This is Aussie dollar guys and we said here, we are looking for sales in Aussie dollar. And this was on the 17th of July. Look what we said here. We said it can crawl up further with dying out momentum. We will only be entering when we see sell setup. Otherwise, we will stay away. So we said we are looking for sell setups. This is the chart and market went up, correction, up, correction, up again. Now we are going down. 
So for Aussie dollar, we were expecting it to go up slowly and then downside again. Instead, it went up sharp. So what this means here, are we getting a change of structure? No. All what we are getting is an extended wave. We were expecting this to go up slowly with a dying out momentum and then downside again. We were forecasting an ending structure. Instead, market went up impulsively. So, no sell setup to us, market went up without us. Now, all of you who are looking for sales, you must get in the sale somewhere here. And if you are in the sale, manage your trade. Why? Because here we can get one more push up before the fall. In all the cases, Aussie dollar, it has to give us a bigger corrective structure. Let me explain you why. We need a bigger corrective structure. This down wave is needed before we go to the upside again. Imagine you go for this buy and market will go like that. Anytime Aussie dollar can start this bigger corrective structure. We are expecting a down wave at least to these levels. Now, if we zoom in again, let me show you here what we are expecting. This down wave, it can push one more up and then down. For this down wave, we were expecting it to be faster and sharper than that. Market is going slowly. This means one more push up is very possible. Are we going to buy this? Never. You want to go for it? Buy it guys and trade your own plan. For us, even we can see that market can push for the upside, we will not buy it. We will let the market go to the upside and then we will go for our sell setups. The bigger wave and the bigger direction is towards the downside. Those who are in the sell, move your stops. And those who are not in, if market will give a corrective structure here, you can go for the sales. Unless we see a corrective structure here, a specific corrective structure, and market confirm to us that it's going down, we will not sell it. Is that clear for all of you guys? If this is clear, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Dorian, for this one guys, from here we set downside, market went down. From here we set up, market went up. From here we set down, again market went down. So step by step, wave by wave, market is following our arrows. Do you remember those forecasts guys? And even for our traders who were in our class, from here we set to them basically up and then down. Do you think that this is based on any news event? Absolutely not. It's pure wave analysis and structure. You remember from here we set downside also, right? Then correction, and then. So let's see it on trading view. This was our trading view post, guys. And we said basically, dollar yen is completing impulsive structure. Wait for small corrective structure and sell it again. Why sell it again? Because we were expecting sales from here. Market went down, correction, then correction, then. One more push up and then it went back down. So this is how the market is moving step by step, wave by wave. If you click this one, you see market is moving to the downside. Now, there is a very important thing on trading view. The chart, it cannot be edited or deleted. And we have started posting charts on trading view for you guys to go, click the like button and leave a comment to support us also on trading view. So all of you who are not following us on trading view, a lot of charts are posted there on a weekly basis. So coming back to dollar yen and this one guys, now all of you who are in the sale, you should take profits. Take profits because the structure is completed to us and anytime market can start to move up. This one, it can make a corrective structure downside again and then push up. So do not risk this small corrective structure, take profits and that's it. Take profits guys and wait for the buy setups. Any buy setup we see here, we will go for it. You know that we are expecting a big up for dollar yen and this will be a long term trade. Let me show it to you in the bigger picture. For this one guys, after this corrective structure, we are expecting market to make a big move for 500 to 600 pips. And you know our forecasts for yen pairs. Now, every time you watch our video, keep watching till the end. At the end of the video and even during the videos, usually I give you tips and messages. They will help you a lot to become a successful trader. So for dollar yen, we will start to look for our buy setups. Any sell setup, we will ignore it. We are posting charts on TradingView every week, so make sure to follow us there as well. The link is in the first comment of this video. New Zealand dollar, let's go to TradingView. So for this one, last week we said we are looking for sales in New Zealand dollar. The way it went down last week confirms that it will push up one more to break the top and then fall. Until we see clear setup, we will stay away from this pair. Too simply. Until we see a clear setup, we will stay away. And we said we are expecting more upside to break the top. So market went up and it didn't give us a sell setup. This is New Zealand dollar guys and this is the pair. 
For this one, market give us a corrective structure, it went back up. So the up wave was expected. What next for this one? The way this is going down, it's similar to Aussie dollar. We do not like the way this is moving down. We would like to see it moving like this one or this one. Impulsively and very sharp. Market is going down here slowly. This means one more push up is possible. Any push up, we will ignore it. Any buy setup, we will not go for it. All what we are looking for is a bigger corrective structure. If we go to the higher time frames, guys, or if I zoom out here, let me explain to you. This lag is needed, and we were expecting this lag to start from here. Instead, it gave us a corrective structure, it went back up. Are we going to buy this? No. All what we are looking for is our sell setups. The bigger corrective structure is needed here for New Zealand dollar. So we are expecting one more push up and then downside again. All of you who are in the sell, manage your trade. Do not close it. If you are in the sell, do not close your trade. Why? Because if market will make a corrective structure here, we'll push to the downside from here. In all the cases, all what we are looking for is a down wave and sell setups for New Zealand dollar. Remember this, you are not controlling the market. You have to go for the next move, you have to go for the next trend, and you have to go for the next wave. Regardless of what is your system or your strategy or your plan, if you don't have a correct mindset, you cannot succeed. You have to have a correct mindset and you have to build it. And in this business, you have to be disciplined. All of this, guys, is a part of psychology. This is why you know we have a psychology class and we always motivate our traders and you. Gold. For this one, let's cover trading view and then we'll come back here. What we have said here. We said we were looking for an up move last week and then then. It went up and started to correct. So expect another push up next week before big sales. We were seeing the up wave, but the up wave, it went more than expected. And yes, we missed this up wave. We are more than happy to miss an opportunity. Instead of get in and stuck in the trade in a loss for a long time. For this one, this up wave, it was expected. We were not in the buy. Those who are in the buy, good job. Market went higher than expected and we didn't get a sell setup. We were watching and waiting and market keeps pushing up, up and up. So for this one, expect a small correction, one more push up to break the yearly high and then downside again. Now, especially for gold, those who will get in the live session, we will explain to you this in details from monthly all the way down to four hours. So we will go top down analysis to explain to you step by step why we were looking for sales. And even in the live session, guys, we will cover a lot of topics. So next for this one, yes, market went up without us and we have missed the opportunity. And in Forex trading, there is a rule. Don't let fear of missing out get you. This means here, guys, do not think that this will go to the upside forever. Anytime they need to push the market down, they will push it up just for you to think that this will never go down and then they will push it down. That's what they did here. So for this one, like I said, we will cover it in details in the live Q&A session. We will never ever buy it from here and those who were in the buy move your stops guys keep moving your stops and it was a great trade for you we are happy for you follow us on instagram more analysis tips traders feedbacks stories will be posted there as well yes oil for this one guys it's making a corrective structure we are at the same level here next we are expecting one more push up and then downside again this push up do not go for it we need this leg down in the structure guys before we go to the upside again Wait this down wave if you are investing before you go for the buy. Those who are still in this buy, just move your stops, close your trade, it's up to you. And those who want to trade it, you can start to look for your sell setups. Wait this market to make one more push up and then you can start to look for your sell setups. The structure here just need one more leg up and then downside again. This is the down wave that we will focus on. Those who would like to invest, wait this down wave and then you can buy it cheaper. From here, you can go for the upside again. Yes, oil, we are expecting it to make a big down wave. Pound yen, for this one, guys, we hope all of you are in the sell. And if you are in the sell, move your stops. We are expecting more downside for pound yen. So only those who are in the sell, move your stops. Those who are not in, do not sell it until you see a clear corrective structure. If market will push to the upside very fast, do not jump in. Until you see a corrective structure here, you should not go for the sell. This is what you are expecting next. Correction and then downside again. This structure, it was clear to us. And those who remember what I said last week, we said up, correction, up, correction, up, and then downside again. Market went up and then it's moving down. 
If you remember this forecast, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Dollar cat for this one, it moved exactly from here to here. Market went down, give us a corrective structure, and now it's moving down. So what we are expecting next for dollar cat? We are expecting it to move to the upside. This is the wave that we'll be focusing on. Upside up wave for dollar cat. Now, remember this. For this pair, guys, it has a tendency to make a correction here, one more push down to break this low, and then upside again. In all the cases, if we see this is going corrective to the upside, and we see a sell setup, we might go for this one. Otherwise, all that we are looking for is our buy setups. Until we see a clear corrective structure, we'll not go for this ad. What we can see for now is up wave. Up wave to complete a bigger corrective structure. So those who get in the sale, you can take profits because structurally, this is ready to move up. If it keeps going down from here, we will not sell it. Let it go without us. All what we are expecting is upside. The structure is completed to us. Euro yen for this one, it moved up, correction up, and then downside again, we are at the same level. We were not expecting this to push up to these levels. Here in this one, guys, it can go one more push up to break the top and then downside again. Now, those who are not in, leave it for now and focus on other pairs. Until we see market will go to the upside and break the top, we will not look for any sell setup. Leave it, let the market unfold, and then we'll update you later on. Follow us on a weekly basis because you know that structure change from time to time. For this one, guys, if you are wondering, we need a lag down here before we go to the upside again. This is not enough for market to keep going up. We need a down wave here before market go to the upside again. So what we are expecting for Euro Yen, we are expecting then up, then up, and then downside again. So look for your sell setups after this top. Aussie New Zealand, how many of you remember this forecast, guys? Market went then, correction then, and then it went up, correction up. Now we are making a corrective structure and then upside again. Those who are in the buy, move your stops or take profits. Your worst case scenario, it should be small profits now for you. Market is going to the upside and it's making a corrective structure. This means here, if this will be going corrective to complete another structure, we'll be going to the upside again. The bigger structure and the bigger picture for Aussie New Zealand is up. And you know our forecast from here, right? A lot of you guys are following us since last year. You remember here what we said, right? We said upside, do not miss this up wave and market went up more than 800 pips. Now, this is a corrective structure to us and we are going to the upside again. If this will make a corrective structure here, more upside for us in New Zealand. Those who are not in, leave it and trade other pairs. Only those who are in, you should be in the buy and now your worst case scenario, it should be small profits for you. You're in New Zealand, also, this is going as expected. From here, we said, dang, correction, we'll be going then to break this low and then upside again. Market went up. All of you were in this buy. And last week, I said to you, we are expecting one more push down and then upside again. Go back and watch our previous video and what we said here. Market went down and it's going to the upside again. We hope that all of you guys get in this buy and you are making good profits out of this up wave. What we are expecting next, we are expecting a correction, one more push up. All of you are not in, Leave it and do not go for this buy. Only those who are in, manage your trade and follow the structure. We are expecting one more push up. After this up wave, take profits. And this will be more than 500 pips, exactly like I said, from here. Cat Swiss for this one, it's moving down and market is completing another structure. For this one, correction and downside again. This is what we can see. Those who are already in the sale, move your stops or take profits. We are expecting more downside for cat swiss. Those who are not in, wait this corrective structure before you go for any sell setup. We are expecting this to make a corrective structure here and then downside again. Before you go for any sell setup, wait the market to give you a corrective structure. Why? Because this will be a confirmation for you that market will make one more push down. Those who understand wave analysis, they know what I'm talking about. Eurocat for this one, we were expecting downside, market went down, give us a corrective structure, and then it went back up very sharp. All of you get in the sale, you should get out for break even, and this should be your worst case scenario. Break even. For now, we can see a corrective structure, one more push up, and then downside again. All what we are looking for is our sale setups. This is a massive structure, but even though within this corrective structure, you can read what will be the next wave. So for us, we will be focusing on our sell setups. If market will make corrective structure and then upside again like that, let it go without us. We will not buy this one. 
Pound oils for this one, market went up, down, and it moved up. At this levels, it went back down and very sharp. All of you who get in the buy, you should get out for break even because market went up more than 150 pips. So you have enough pips and time to get out for break even. Or else, your worst case scenario, it should be small loss. So, what next for this one? We are expecting a correction, one more push up, another correction, upside again. So we are expecting pound O's to make a bigger corrective structure. The bigger direction is toward the upside. Why? Because if you look at the bigger picture, we are expecting it to make a bigger corrective structure similar to this one and this corrective structure it can start anytime. And remember, we are expecting Aussie to make a down wave. So if Aussie will fall, this means here this one will make a push up. And pound dollar will go down because of dollar and not pound. So coming back to analysis and structure, correction here anytime, upside again. Do not jump in. Wait this corrective structure before you go for the buy setup. Those who are already in the buy, move your stocks. Aussie Swiss, market give us this up wave, corrective structure, up wave again, and now we are moving down. All of you who are in the cell, we hope that you are making good profits guys out of this down wave. Market went down from here to here. More than 150 pips. Next for this one, correction, downside again. We are expecting more downside for Aussie Swiss. Cadian, also this one is moving exactly as expected. Market went up and it's moving down. All of you are in the cell, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you guys remember our forecasts, let us know in the comment section and follow us on TradingView. Read the description on every single chart. After this sharp down wave, we are expecting a correction and downside again. We are expecting Cadian to move down for the next waves. Swiss Yen, also for this one, we are expecting a correction here and then downside again. So for those who want to trade this one, wait your sell setup and go for this down wave. We are expecting market to move to the downside fast and sharp. This will complete another structure. Now is the time for the bonus tip. Even in trading, you should set goals and do your best to achieve them. And those goals must be realistic guys. Once you achieve a goal, set another one and so on. Thanks for watching, trade with care and see all of you next week.